So I've come out to uh, Etlidradalus today to try and find some forest angelica, uh, angelica sylvestris, uh, and also some rowan berries and maybe some mushrooms if I can find any. Uh, but also mostly water ravens. I want some of the root for that, um, for medicine and for some magical stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping I can find stuff. It's very dense here, which is lovely. Um, yeah. Still getting used to filming myself talking out loud um, on my phone. It makes me feel a bit weird still. Um, so I'm sorry if this comes off as awkward. Uh, I'm with some Aitikvan. This is the forest angelica and it has a lot of different virtues. It's typically ruled by the sun, like most angelica are ruled by the sun. Um, but it ha you can do so much with it. I'm going to dry some of these seeds and use them in various different workings. Um, Yo, know, in the English folk magic is called Master Wart because it was used for loads of different stuff, loads of healing um, and loads of other different magic, so I'll see what I can do with it. I'm also picking some Reinebeer, the rowan berries. And I will string these out and dry them up and use for protective charms on strings. Similar to how people do in the UK, it's also a thing that has been done in Iceland. It's not like a super, super common thing for people to do anymore, but there's probably some Scottish root in there. And there's a lot more plants still around than I thought there would be, which is nice. Because um, I thought I'd missed the majority of the, the foraging window this year while I was in Sweden. But it's quite nice to see quite a lot of stuff. There's some water ravens here. Small angelicas, dandelions. Quite a lot of stuff. I've also managed to find a good amount of forget-me-not. So I'm going to use this to create a wash to cleanse and sort of keep like retain the potency within my working knife that I use. I've also found some eye bright, this is big pro in Icelandic. Uh, Frigida is the Latin, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you can use it in spells of truth and revealing. Uh, you can also use like medicinally you can use it as an eye wash. And it helps like lift and clear blockages, um, especially those placed around the tree. So I've got everything I need. I'm going to head home and start processing some of the stuff see how it turns out.
So my rowan bow charm is drying nicely. I'm going to hang this above the door, like it's super long, so I'm going to hang it above the door. Um, and then make another one. I have quite a lot more berries, so I'm going to make another... I might make a few more and put them on the windows and stuff, just to add nice, uh, add nice protective vibes, because that's what they do. Um, got the intro, it's dry now. Um, this I will, I will grind some. Um, I'll grind some and I'll use some for, um, for some like truth oil to like reveal the truth and stuff. Because uh, that's one of the ways you can work with it. You can find information about that in my book, actually. Um, and then I've got the forget me not to make this uh, infusion to wash my magical knife with. Uh, I also, I forgot to mention, I gathered some Mariavantus. This is uh, field gentian. Uh, it's a martial plant. It is good for like lots of martial things, but it's also sacred to Mary um, and Freya as well, by extension. Um, by syncretism, and so uh, I like I work this with a bunch of different other Freya charm, like Freya plants in charms to Freya and to things pertaining to what Freya is the ruler of. Um, she uh, she rules love and war and various other things. If you're more into Norse pagan stuff than uh, than just the sort of like secular or, or just animistic folk magic. Um, but you can work these into protective charms, they're really good for protecting the house and protecting people. Um, and also, you can work them into martial oils, that's a good thing to do. Um, if you have a bunch of other martial plants, like garlic, spearmint, you know, fiery, hot, phallic shaped things often, um, that's a really good thing to, like you can blend them all. Um, chop them up and blend them in an oil and then work that oil into candles and various different charms uh, within martial days and times to use uh, to utilize the virtues of this planet more um, sorry if I'm a bit I'm a bit under the weather so I'm not 100% um, hopefully I'm making sense uh, then I have this root from the water avens Fjallaldana uh, Fjallaldana is the name in Icelandic and this I'm going to chop up um, and dry a bit more uh, you can use it in a tea, supposedly, that tastes a bit like chocolate, so I'm going to try that. Um, medicinally, it is good against diarrhea um, and some other stuff. There's lots of tannins in it. Um, but, yeah, magically, <clears throat> magically, I would use it for, I used it for some spirit flight stuff. Um, I would also include it in, like, Freya-based things. Lots of plants in Iceland are, are Freya-based things, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more work with this and see how it goes. I have quite a few of these roots, this is just one of them. Um, but yeah, all of these plants you can find in my book, uh, which is available through crossedcrowbooks.com. So for Eyebright, Two species of eyebright grow in Iceland. Cold eyebright grows in, abund in abundance all over Iceland, but drug eyebright is rare, growing in small clusters dotted around the island in short grasses and on geothermal soil. This wonderful plant should be included in incense and smoke blends for divination and to promote truth. Eyes may be sprinkled with an infusion to allow one to see only the truth. Infusions with peppermint and other memory aiding plants are consumed to clear the mind and to better take in new information. This plant's truthful and uplifting virtues may show us that it is ruled by air and by the sun. So the gentian. There are a few species of gentian found in Iceland, two of the most common being the alpine and field gentian. This is the field gentian, this is Mariavantush. Uh, the other one is called Dierkras in Icelandic. Uh, Gentian Gentianella campestris is this one, and Gentiana nevadas is the other one. Uh, gentian is added to sex charms and sex magic, add to powders and oils for sex and seduction. It can be added to hex breaking baths and blends due to its martial powers. Work with it as a ritual wash for both love work and cleansing tools. It can be added to incenses to increase the potency of other materia within them. Its martial virtues lend themselves to cleansing and clearing works. Gentian may also be kept within your pockets to protect against thieves of all kinds. 
because you can work gentian for anti-thievery stuff. This stove is a good one to work it with, as well as these. These are all in my book. Um, you can work it into an oil uh, and anoint candles that maybe you've also carved these staves into. Uh, or if you're going to carve these staves into some sort of wood, some sort of maybe protective wood, um, or some wood that would aid in sort of revealing things. So like some species of birch here are used for that sort of thing. If you would carve these staves into the bark of the birch, uh, you could then make an oil with the field gentian and anoint that oil, uh, anoint that symbol, um, the stave. After you've rimmed it with blood, anoint it with the oil. Um, to sort of just use all the different bits around us to get the most out of what we're trying to do. Um, because that's the thing that I sort of want to to highlight the most when I talk about all this stuff is like, yes, we know this plant does this. Yes, we know this stair does this. You can work them independently. That's fine. But if you can find a way to fuse them together and to work these things all together, um, it's super useful. And plants are amazing for this because you can work them into oils. You can work them into washes. You can carry them. You can dry them. You can use the seeds, the roots, the leaves. You can burn them as incense, you can drink them, you can eat them. Like there's so many different ways that you can work all these plants alongside these staves and alongside the plenty of other workings, which is for me the reason, the main reason why I love plant magic. Um. Mm -hmm.